the FMK Elite Series. Let's check it out. Three years ago was my first experience with FMK firearms. This is the 9C1 Gen 2. It's a 9mm. It's pretty much the exact same size of a Glock 19. It's just a great little polymer frame striker fire pistol. But the big coup for this gun is that it's made in the USA, yet it comes in at a very reasonable price. But still, the quality is there. And again, I've owned this gun for three years. But FMK Firearms has upgraded, and they have their Elite Series. This is actually the Elite Pro Plus, and there are a lot of cool features. One of the big ones, though, is the RMR cuts. And guys, this is where handguns are headed. With these micro red dots, it uh, just really makes these guns very effective. Guys, I've had this gun again for about three years, and I've shot quite a bit. We even took it out to the range to compare it with the Elite Series, and it has been solid. I mean, there were some things initially that FMK had to do, and that's the reason for the G2, because this is a second generation. But let's go ahead and make sure the guns are unloaded. The 9C1 is the same size as a Glock 19. I mean, in every dimension, from the length, from the grip length, I mean, everything is pretty much the same. Uh, one of the things they do use are Glock sights. So that makes it really easy to be able to switch these out. In fact, you can even see that there are Glock sights on this pistol. Uh, one of the things I do like is it is a rounded trigger guard. It is polymer. Uh, you do have your accessory rail. I mean, you've got all the different features and things that you'd want on a striker fire polymer frame pistol. Uh, these are made in the U.S. In fact, they're made in California, which makes it really tough for these guys, but uh, they're hanging in there, and I really salute them for that. But they are a very patriotic company, and it says, Thank you, Armed Forces, right here, proudly American. Here on the back, Freedom and Liberty. And they do make some special models that actually have different uh, writing, laser engraved writing on here. Uh, and just a number of different color frames. I mean, there's a lot of things that they do. It is a drop-free magazine. Uh, it is a steel magazine, and it holds 14 rounds, which, you know, the Glock 19 holds 15. So that is one thing, but it does have the polymer base plate, and it's just good and solid. But because it's metal, it's actually a little thinner than your standard Glock magazine. That allows for the grip to be a little thinner, a little more ergonomic. So when you're bringing your hand in with these little thumb and finger rest just comes in nice on the handgun you've got these cavities right here and that really allows you to sink your knuckles the inside of your knuckles right into this side and then the tips of your fingers right here so it gives you a really solid grip on the handgun this back section again is rubberized but it is an over mold over polymer so it's not squishy but it has a lot of comfort uh, in fact FMK says that this will make it feel like a caliber down and guys, it really does make a difference when shooting. Then of course you got this small area right here, so it gives you a fairly low bore axis, really very similar to the Glock. Now right here you'll notice this little red dot, and this is your loaded chamber indicator. We're gonna throw in a dummy round. Now it comes up, and then you can feel it. Just It just protrudes a little touch out. Then when it's back down, you can see. You'll also notice this fairly long extractor. And right here, you'll notice that when you push it, it actually pushes the loaded chamber indicator out. And that's the reason for this long extractor. The fit and finish is just excellent. The serrations are very easy to grab. 
uh, whether you're front. I like how it steps down right here. Makes it a little easier to go back in and out of holsters. And so a lot of, just a lot of cool features about this handgun. One of the things though about the mag release is that it's only for one side. You can't switch this out. And so that is one thing. Now the original slide release right here is on this particular Elite model, but they did send a second one, and I'll get into that in a second. And this has a, an advanced slide stop. It's more minimal, it's easier to grab. Um, it's just a, I really like this slide stop. Now here we have the Vortex Viper, and it will fit right here on the slide. They do already have suppressor height sights on these. But one of the things that's really cool is they have other sights available in the box. Um, here we have again the suppressor height sights. These are three dot instead of the squared off ones like on the original. But this is one of the Burris Fast Fire Threes. But there are models where these are actually included. And so they do offer a number of different styles, a number of different models. Now this is the Elite Pro Plus. This is the top of the line. It has your RMR that's included, which of course you can get the Burris or the Viper. And then you have the special slide cuts, the serrations, the top is milled out. You have a stainless steel barrel that's threaded. And so that gives you some extra features that the others don't have. Some come without an RMR, some come without a threaded barrel. And you can go to the FMK website, check out all those details. One thing they've done though, they've gone more to a nitride finish on the slide than the original with just the anodized finish. And I like that. It seems like it's going to hold up a little better. Sometimes anodized finishes can wear over time. And this one has a little bit. You can see the different where high spots where the metal has worn a little bit. Uh, but here with this, it's going to give it more protection. And I'm sure that this has been added to all their new models. Now the barrel on the standard 9C1 is 4 inches. On the Elite with a threaded barrel, it's 4.5 inches. Now here we have the Glock Gen 5 MOS Model 19. Uh, we have the Trijicon RMR on here. I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of size. And I'm telling you guys, I mean, these guns are exact in all dimensions as far as, you know, the silhouette. Uh, and, of course, with the new Gen 5, you do have your slide serrations on the front. Of course, we do have the RMR on here, which, you know, will fit on the FMK. But, guys, these guns are very close. And, really, as far as grip-wise, uh, the FMK definitely just feels like it molds in your hand. Now, I've been shooting the Glocks for years, so it feels like it molds in my hand just because I've had so much experience with it. But definitely, you know, a strong comparison between the two. We have the trigger safety right here that's very similar to a lot of your striker fire pistols. And unless that is depressed, it's not going to fire. But we're going to look at the trigger action. And so we have some take up right here. A little bit of resistance. And then we have the brake. Reset. Right there. Now we're going to take out our Lyman trigger gauge from Brownells. Four pounds, 11.7 ounces. Four pounds, 7.6 ounces. Four pounds, two ounces. So we're around the four and a half pounds. And I do want to thank Fiocchi for sponsoring the ammo, all made right here in the USA. Clean burning, good stuff. Also, Lula loaders. These are just excellent. And I really appreciate Mag Lula sending these to save my thumbs. Now taking the FMK Elite down to the range, uh, one of the big things that you'll notice up front is this rubber housing on the back. And it's just an overmold like we've talked about, but it definitely makes this a very comfortable firearm to shoot. Now also because of the way that the grip is made, it just seems to nestle in your hand really good. Now it's not super aggressive, the texturing around the polymer, but because of this rubber piece in the back, it kind of gives you some confidence while you're shooting. And guys, really, it gives you a little bit of a different grip angle than the Glock because of this little hump. So it's, to me, actually, it's a more natural pointing gun, even though I've been shooting Glocks for years. But there is something about this handgun, the grip, that's very appealing. Now, with the red dot sight, I mean, it makes it really easy to get on target. And again, guys, I'm telling you, this is where handgun shooting and self-defense shooting is going because it's so easy to pick up that red dot. Of course, all the other features with the threaded barrel, you know, if you want to go with a suppressor, uh, the front cocking serrations that are new makes it really easy to, to cock. 
uh, you know, of course it's 14 and one, which is one short of your Glock 19. And as far as malfunctions, we didn't have any with the FMK Elite. Now with the original FMK, we did have some issues with the slide holding back a couple of times. Uh, from what I understand, they accidentally sent me 40 caliber magazines, and it was the reason why we were having trouble. But what was funny is, is it was functioning with that 9mm uh, otherwise. I mean, it was just working. And so, I've had a lot of great experience with FMK firearms, and again, it's been three years since I've done anything. But I'll tell you, they're really excellent little guns. Now to disassemble the firearm, we're going to drop our magazine, make sure that the gun is unloaded. Uh, first thing you want to do is go ahead and pull your trigger, pull back on your slide about an eighth of an inch, and then pull down on your takedown tabs. And this will just release the slide. We have a recoil spring and guide rod. It is polymer, but it does have the flat recoil spring, which does mitigate recoil. Now to bring the barrel out, we're going to have to remove our thread protector, and then we just pull the barrel right out. Nice stainless steel polish. You have a polished feed ramp. And guys, I'll tell you, we were shooting at the range. We just didn't have any issues with it. But we were using Fiocchi ammunition. And guys, I'm telling you, that stuff just really works well. Here we have our striker block safety. Uh, it's nice and polished. And of course, your striker mechanism. Then here, we have some fairly decent front slide rails. Your locking blocks right here. And then we have rear slide rails right here. But of course, very similar to a lot of the striker fire pistols and uh, they start with a G. <laughs> Guys, that's all you need to do to field strip the handgun. We're going to bring in our barrel, recoil spring, and guide rod. You know, it's funny, guys. I feel like I say this the same every time, and I do. But, you know, if it's not broke, don't try to fix it. <laughs> Test for function, and we're good to go. No magazine disconnect safety, which I love. Now the big advantage of the FMK firearm line is again the price. Uh, from what I've seen with the standard 9C1, these are running under $330 on Big Daddy Unlimited. And then we have the FMK Elite Pro Plus, and the one I saw was with the Venom sight, and it was $522. I mean that is a beautiful price, and that includes the red dot, it includes the threaded barrel, uh, it includes all the serrations and everything you see. Guys, it's really hard to beat an American-made 9mm polymer frame striker pistol for this kind of money. And the quality is there. And of course, there are prices for all the models that are in between as well. Magazines are about $20 a piece, and they do make 10 rounders for states with magazine capacity restrictions. So guys, if you're looking for a striker fire polymer frame pistol that's made right here in the USA, and yet it's very reasonable in price. Uh, you know, the standard FMK 9C1 G2 uh, is a great little gun. But if you want to upgrade to the RMR cuts, to the threaded barrel, you know, with the slide cuts here, just with a lot of the improvements on the slide, uh, this to me is a great option. A very easy way to get into a red dot handgun without spending a ton of money. And I want to thank the guys at FMK for sending the pistols for this test and evaluation. You know, it's really great to be able to get a lot of different type handguns. It's one of the things about this one uh, to bring to you guys to show you what's out there. But guys, like I always recommend, check out other reviews, see what they're saying about the pistol. There may be some things that they see that I don't, and it's really good to have a well-rounded idea before you make a purchase. Rubber Dummies is one of the best training tools on the market, and you get a 10% discount using Suit00 when you click the link down in the description. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. everything just going so just like so fast <laughs> well.
Thanks for warning me. Oh, hey, I'm getting ready to shoot. <laughs>